hey and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at the installation process of iDrive Online Backup. So after having signed up for an account and uh, downloaded this with your favorite browser, in my case, this is Firefox, you can just double click on the Axie file and an installation wizard is going to pop up. As always, you need administration rights. So you need your password here to be able to perform backups. And um, the wizard is pretty self-explanatory. You just click on next and next and then on install and it installs the software without any hassle. And in the next step, you are going to be uh, asked to insert your username or email address that you have signed up with at the iDrive uh, website. And there's no need to restart your PC, so it should be working fine without uh, restarting Windows. However, uh, to be on the safe side, I recommend you restarting your PC always after installing uh, this kind of backup software. So um, what we can see here is that the sign-in um, window is quite cluttered. And this is actually, well, what I think iDrive should work on a little bit because their software seems a little stuffed, a little uh, cluttered with lots of menu items. And if your user who doesn't like to really fiddle around with the software. Well, I do like that because I'm a geek here and I'm doing this review. But for many users, this might be overwhelming. The features that are presented to a user might be overwhelming. And when you compare it to Mosey, for example, or Backblaze for that matter, they are a lot more reduced and easier to understand than the iDrive sign-in window. You uh, even have the option to dig deeper into um, the sign-in window when clicking on the advanced button where you can set up a proxy, which I pretty much like, and that gives you additional security. So um, you don't need that, obviously. You can just uh, insert your account data and click on connect. And in the next window, we can see that uh, they prompt this one with an encryption key. And you can either have iDrive give yourself a standard encryption key or you can set your own encryption key. Well, since I'm a security guy and it's, security is very important to me and I don't want anybody to see my private data that I back up, I go for the option to set up my own private encryption key. And here I put in a password that should be a really secure password with numbers and an uppercase, lowercases. And you've got to save that at a at a separate location because um, if you're if you're going to lose your data and lose your security key, you are never going to be able to restore your data. So if you if it's get, getting lost, um, you lose all your data automatically because iDrive is not going to be able to restore your data without that encryption key. That being said, we are then welcomed by a little wizard here that explains a little bit the interface of their client. However, we're just going to uh, close that because we're going to discover the interface on our own and see uh, what we can discover here and if everything works flawlessly. And Yet again, I got to say that I love the client because I'm a guy that loves options. I want to explore a software. I don't want to be limited by a software. I want to use a software as a tool to get my things done efficiently and effectively. And I want to uh, adjust that to my schedule. And I can do that with a client. However, it is a little cluttered. There are lots of options as in the sign up um, window before. And the inexperienced user might have problems grasping the idea of that interface. So um, they could probably do that a little better. And I think they're going to be working on it pretty soon. I discovered an interesting feature that I haven't discovered before in an online backup client, which is the bandwidth test. So you can test your bandwidth and see how long it's going to take to upload one gigabyte of data. So let's just go into the upload speed and see what iDrive suggests or what iDrive calculates as our upload speed and see whether that is accurate or not. And after a while, it presents us the results and we have 240 kilobit per second and it's going to take almost 10 hours to upload one gigabyte of data. I think, well, my, I know that my connection is faster, so um, I'm pretty um, I'm pretty confident that we're going to uh, do better than 10 hours, um, and, but we're going to see that in the course of that video. So um, this is a nice information to be able to calculate more or less how long you are going to be uh, taken for your backup and iDrive gives you here a quite conservative uh, calculation which is fine. You can do the same for the download speed as well so you can calculate how long it's going to take to restore all your data from iDrive's servers. 
So, but let's dig deeper now into the uh, backup procedure and see how we can actually uh, perform our first backup and upload our test folder of roughly one gigabyte in size. iDrive also works in backup sets and these are automatically selected at the bottom of the, of the screen. So if you have organized all your files that you need to back up in those Windows 7 uh, folders, then there is no problem. You can just um, have them selected automatically by iDrive and uh, click on backup now at the bottom of the screen and it's going to be backing up this data automatically. However, I want to have a little more control over my data. So I need to dig deep into the file system and select my test files over there, which is uh, one gigabyte in files. And um, then they are being added to my uh, backup queue. So we can see that at the bottom we have selected our folder with one gigabyte in size and now we have the option to back it up now or we can schedule the backups to our needs and let's just have a look uh, at the quick uh, schedule option so we can uh, select days of the week when we want to do the backups or we can just select well just select to back up monthly if our folder doesn't change that often and um, we can also select to have no backup schedule at all, that you only, uh, with a click of a button, initiate the backup. And you can also do um, email notifications, which I pretty much like, but as I said, I have um, in my SOS online backup, I'm not that lucky with uh, those emails. They never <laughs> arrive to my account, unfortunately, and I still miss SOS online backups email to confirm my backup, and iDrive's email hasn't I haven't received iDrive's email either so this doesn't work for me and you can even dig deeper and go under the hood and see what you can do you can do for example a bandwidth throttle if you're working with a slow PC or a slow internet connection this is pretty useful and only can uh, do backups when your system is not in use and then there's a feature that is called continuous backup and this is going to be um, detecting your folders um, automatically of changes. So if anything changes in the folders, if you update a file or if you add another one, it is going to be updated automatically. However, you can only uh, enable that if your files are lower than 500 megabyte. And um, you cannot either do that with external hard drives. Probably they're going to modify that in future. But uh, right now, um, I'm just going to do uh, the continuous backup because my files are not going to be superior than uh, 500 megabytes. With a click on backup now, it is processing um, the backup, the files that are going to be needed to be uploaded to the servers. And what I especially love with iDrive is the information I got. The software constantly uh, keeps uh, me up to date what is actually being backed up and um, I have a status overview here that gives me information on my fact of transfer rate, on the time that lapsed, the files that have been backed up, and I'm always up to date. I can even uh, throttle the bandwidth within here or pause the backup. There are so many um, different options, and I like that. On the other side, there are certainly going to be users that are overwhelmed by the sheer options and capabilities of the software so um, this could be reduced a little bit probably and uh, we're going to pause the video here and see when our backup is finished here we are back after everything has been backed up and you can now view a detailed log where everything is uh, listed every file you backed up is listed and especially the time it actually took to back up all your data and this is what we're going to now verify so we started our backup at five o'clock more or less and um at quarter to six and it took until nine o'clock and here we have a total time of three hours and 27 minutes which is a very very good time for backing up one gigabyte and as i already suspected we're going to be a lot faster than the 10 hours that was previously calculated by iDrive. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to see whether the backup was actually successful, whether the restore works flawlessly as well, because this is very important. You need your data and you need your data fast. So we're gonna try just that in the next video. And I would be more than glad if you watch that and give it your like on YouTube or on Facebook. And if you have a question, please do leave a comment and I'll be more than glad to get in touch with you. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.